Hello friends, welcome to the prayer time of e-comfort zone. Thank you for joining me. Consider this a privilege to come before the Lord. Because of his mercy, his grace, his providence, all that we enjoyed during the last week. I want to assure those friends of ours who has asked us to pray that we are praying for you. And we believe that Lord God Almighty will answer your prayers, our prayers, according to his wisdom, his time. It is our privilege to come before the Lord and ask for his deliverance from all evil during the week that we are facing ahead. Please join me in this brief prayer station. Let us pray. Our most gracious Almighty Father in heaven, we come before your throne of grace acknowledging your lordship in our lives we praise you we worship you we fall prostrate before your throne of grace because you are our god you are our master and you are the lord of our lives and you are also the lord of this whole creation we want to thank you for the blessings that we received in our lives. We want to thank you for food, clothing, shelter. We want to thank you for your protection and your providence in our lives. Gracious Lord Almighty Father, many a times, many of these things, we just take them as granted, not acknowledging the fact that they all are the blessings that flows from them. today. We want to come before your throne of grace, raise our hands in praise, in thanksgiving, and acknowledge your lordship and acknowledge your blessings in our hearts. We also want to acknowledge the fact that we are sick. We have committed sins against you. We pray that may you forgive us our sins. May you cleanse us, purify us, May you make us holy and acceptable unto your side. We are not worthy to call you as our Abba Father. It is by your grace we have this privilege. And we pray that may by the same grace, Lord, you cleanse us, purify us. We want to thank you, O Lord, for answering the prayers of those friends of ours who has asked us to pray. Thank you, Father, for your presence with them. Father, those who have asked for healing, thank you for your healing touch to them. Those who have asked for providence, thank you for your providence with them. Today, as we come to you, we bring our supplications before your throne of prayer. We pray for this pandemic, which is taking toll on the life of each and every one. Father, months have gone by and we are still without an appropriate solution to encounter this pandemic. But we know our protection is with you. And so we pray, oh Father, that you take care of this pandemic situation. Lord, free us, oh Lord, Free us from the fear of this pandemic. And not just the freedom, but we pray that bring the normalcy of life. Under these circumstances, so many people have lost their jobs. They are so insecure, O oh Lord, because they have nothing for themselves. Many have lost their dear ones. They are grieving. Many could not even attend the last rites of the dear ones. Father Almighty, we pray that may you be present with them. May you comfort them. May you strengthen them to endure the losses that they have. We pray, O oh Father, for all those families who are struggling in different ways, O oh Father. 
those who have lost their jobs, those who have reduced income. We pray, O oh Father, that you provide all, all of them. We want to pray for those families who are struggling in, in terms of their relationship. We pray that may you intervene in that situation. Bring your peace, O oh Lord, the peace which passeth all understanding. And may the people of those families rejoice in We want to pray very specially today for all the sinful citizens. Some of them are our parents. Some of them are our family members. Some of them are our neighbors. Some of them are our country. The Lord, in this pandemic situation, they are vulnerable for this future. We pray that may you comfort them. May you protect them all from this pandemic. And not just the pandemic. Being old, they may have several complications in terms of their health, in terms of the facilities that they are expected to receive, and in many other ways. We pray that may your presence be with them. We pray that may you grant your grace to them. We pray that may they dwell under your mighty shadow. Lord, as we have stepped into a new week and we will go out for our daily evening, we pray that may you come with us. May you cover us with your protection so that as we return home in the evenings or after our work, we can give you thanks for your safety, for your protection. We pray that may we all dwell under your mighty shadow. And we come back to you in next week, raising our hands in praise and thanksgiving and say that the Lord has done great things for us. Lord, we commit all of us to you. May your grace, blessings, and mercies flow in our lives. In Jesus' name. Thank you for joining me. We would love to pray with you, pray for you. Please feel free to send your prayer request to the contact information given on the screen. I can assure you of total confidentiality. As usual, before I close this episode, let me leave a text for all of us. The text comes from Psalm chapter 27 and verse 1. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? Friends, the Lord is your light and stronghold. You do not need to be afraid of anybody or anything. May God bless you.